Uh, hello, my name is Lee Tepley. I've been filling humpback whales and other marine mammals for a very long time. My earlier efforts were on 16 millimeter film, and more recently I've been recording humpbacks on video. You'll be looking at both on this humpback sampler and on my follow-up sampler. This still picture is the underside of a very large female humpback posing right in front of my camera. Maybe she wants me to pet her belly, but I passed up the chance. And this is one of my favorite shots, well, taken maybe 15, 20 years ago. The mother and baby humpback uh, come right up to me. And this happened very, very often. The boat was dead in the water, I was in the water. They come right up to the mother. is very, very curious. The baby stays right above the mother. The mother comes up parallel uh, to me and turns very slowly. This was a, a beautiful, clear day. She goes by, and her tail fluke is very close to hitting me, and I think she carefully moves it out of the way so she won't hit me. It's done on 16 millimeter film. And this was a shot taken at an even earlier date, another mother and another baby also on 16 millimeter film. And typically, the baby is right above the mother, and they're both curious, and the baby is coming toward me, and the mother is staying right under the baby. Now, the original of all the 16 millimeter material uh, was taken on 16 millimeter and then transferred to DigiBeta. It is being stored in a video lab in San Francisco. So this is all available in, in very high quality. And this unusual day where we have purple water, the water wasn't really purple. This is weird stuff in my video editing system. Get a mother and a baby. And this was the first time I ever got in the water with humpbacks. This would have been about 30 years ago. And another baby that uh, above the mother and came right by me. Here are a couple of bottlenose dolphins swimming in front of humpback whales in the background. Uh, I just started this from the hump, film the humpbacks and the dolphins came by. This is uh, probably the same shot. We had a still picture of the very beginning here. The mother poses right in front of the camera, belly up. And film slowly away. And this is the same mother whale, this time coming up from below. And there are two other humpbacks in the background, and they will get closer as this uh, sequence goes on. And the very big mother humpback uh, deliberately kind of turned all the way around, and before very slowly starting to swim away. Another shot here on 16 millimeter film. Typical mother and baby, this time below the surface, and the mother is, is very slowly moving up toward the surface. This is many generations of editing down, and, uh, and these color artifices sometimes get in the picture, and I can't always get them out of the picture. Very often the case, the, the tail fluke comes very, very close to camera. And I was stationed there in the water. This is a short shot of a breaching humpback. Another breach, this one done up in the Alaskan waters. It's one of my better breach shots. I've uh, taken two different cameras, two different angles. This is a, what you might call a spy hop, or a combination between a spy hop and a breach, and this humpback whale is doing it repeatedly, and that's the second time as it approaches the camera. And we wait for the third time. The humpback is turned a little bit sideways. It's done in Glacier Bay, Alaska, or outside of Glacier Bay, Alaska, again a number of years ago. called uh, tail thrashing. The boat was dead in the water and the boat was drifting toward the humpback and I didn't want to start the boat so 
it got closer, and as it did so, the thrashing got a little bit more violent. Anyhow, there were three of these thrashes in a row. This is an unusual shot again in, in Alaska here, and they're a rather large group of humpbacks, which are still a ways off, but coming directly toward me. And uh, the boat again is, is dead in the water. And as I get closer and go under the boat, you notice that the boat starts shaking a lot more. I was just by myself here. And as I come very, very close and go under the boat, you see everything is quite a bit more violent. And then they, they swim under the boat, see, and they swim off on the other side. And this is a procedure called lobtailing. Humpbacks do a lot of this uh, behavioral activity, a number of different types. And this is one of them. And there's a baby breaching. It's a very rare shot, maybe the only time a humpback whale is and seen starting to breach underwater. The baby went up in the air, came down right above its mother, and they both swim away. This went on 16 millimeter film. This is a shot on video where this little baby whale disappeared and suddenly showed up right in front of my camera uh, within about a foot of my uh, foot of my head. And probably the same baby whale uh, with some snorkelers here. The baby is swimming toward me and takes a quick look at the lady uh, snorkeler size more interested in the camera and comes very, very close. So close it almost touches me here as it goes right by the camera within about uh, three or four inches of my camera. It swims away. Same baby whale. Water is a little bit turbid here, but when the whale is this close it doesn't really cause any problems. fascinated by my camera and my black rubber suit. More interested in me than all these pretty girls. And again, coming very, very close to the camera and rolling on his back. And that's the end of uh, part one of this humpback whale sampler. To look at part two, just uh, go back to YouTube it should be really easy to find it. Thank you.